All right, ladies and gentlemen. Well, what we're going to do here is look at uh, meiosis in just a, a little bit more detail to look at um, how part of meiosis occurs and then uh, what can happen if things go awry. So let's uh, first imagine a cell in uh, prophase one uh, of meiosis. So here we have our original cell uh, made or consisting of uh, homologous chromosomes. So here we'll draw a, a large chromosome and a smaller chromosome. Here's its homologous partner. Here's its homologous partner. Now, uh, again, they'll form these uh, tetrads uh, where you have the overlapping homologous chromosomes. Uh, they can undergo synapsis where they will join uh, via this protein complex uh, and ultimately end up exchanging uh, portions of their genes with one another. So you wind up with uh, cells that have increased uh, variability. So there we have crossing over happening. Now what will happen is uh, as uh, with some of the steps we've seen in mitosis, uh, you have uh, events occurring that uh, al align uh, these chromosomes. So uh, if you'll recall, there are centrioles found within the centrosome of the cell. So there's the centrosome. And uh, they'll produce these uh, microtubules, the kinetochore, non kinetochore microtubules. Uh, let's see, let's draw in our chromosomes here. And add that in. Uh, so we know a little bit of DNA has been exchanged. So we've got some exchange DNA, we've got microtubules running to this particular spot uh, on, let me draw this in here, this particular spot on the chromosomes. Now if you'll recall, these are referred to as kinetochores. So you have uh, microtubules connecting to the kinetochores of these chromosomes, brings them into alignment along the metaphase plate. And uh, eventually, during anaphase one, the homologous chromosomes uh, will be separated. So you have the motor proteins by the kinetic course uh, begin to walk the uh, chromosomes toward uh, the poles here. So you have uh, the shortening of the uh, uh, microtubules occurring. Uh, let's see, draw this X here. It's got some exchange DNA. Yeah, draw that. It's got some exchanged DNA. So uh, again, the whole idea is during anaphase, you separate homologous chromosomes. They begin to move toward opposite poles. Now, let's think of a for instance. Let's say for instance, this microtubule does not attach appropriately. So if, uh, an, if an error occurs, what's gonna happen with this chromosome? If this never attaches, this chromosome would still be attached to its homologous partner and be pulled to the opposite pole. So what you wind up with are extra or missing chromosomes uh, in cells. And that's how we wind up with uh, conditions like uh, Turner syndrome or Klinefelter syndrome or uh, trisomy 21 or Down syndrome. Uh, if errors occur during the production of these gametes, uh, so for instance, if the microtubules don't connect to the kinetochores, then the separation of homologous chromosomes doesn't occur and you end up producing uh, gametes that have extra or, or missing chromosomes.